Do you know that the Powerball jackpot today is $900 million? So I thought given that information, why not do a math and real life problem and talk about the odds of winning Powerball, okay? $900 million, that's a lot, a lot of money, okay? So let's find out what are the odds? What are the odds of actually winning that prize? All right, so we know the odds are gonna be one in, okay, one in the number of possible tickets. Okay, and this is what I mean by that, one in the number of possible tickets. So how many possible tickets can exist for Powerball? Now, not every possible ticket may be sold, and it obviously, you know, when the Powerball jackpot keeps going up, it means the combination of numbers for Powerball, no one picked it, that ticket wasn't sold. But what are the number of possible tickets when we think about Powerball? So let's talk about what Powerball is. So basically, it, you have a drum of white balls and a drum of red balls. And for the drum of white balls, you pick five, okay? So you pick five white balls, well, I shouldn't say you pick, but it is picked. Five white balls are picked, okay? And there are 69 of them, okay? So they number one through 69, all right? Then the power ball is a red ball, and you pick one of them. And there are 26 total red balls in that drum. Okay, so those balls number one through 26. So how would we figure out the total number of possible combinations? Now, we know it's a combination because order doesn't matter. So when you're picking the numbers, you always pick them in ascending order. So if you're gonna pick one, two, three, four, five, you know, whether when you're filling out your ticket, like if you're not doing quick pick, if you're filling out your own ticket and you pick one, two, three, four, five, you could have written, you know, colored in the five first and then the two and then the three, you know what I'm saying? But they always go in ascending order. So no matter what numbers you pick, they always put them in ascending order. So order doesn't matter. Picking one, two, three, four, five is the same as picking five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So we're using combinations. All right. So we need the total number of total possible outcomes. Okay. And so how do we calculate that? Well, five white balls and we have 69 total, okay? So that's actually very simple. It's just 69, choose five. And that's something that you can do in your calculator, okay? You can just type in 69, choose five. You can even put it in a Google search bar, type in 69, choose five, okay? Then we're gonna multiply that by the one red ball. So there are 26 options here. So you could just multiply it by 26, but if you wanna stay consistent with using um, combinations and the notation for them, you can say there's 26 options and I'm choosing one. Okay, so 69 choose five times 26 choose one because you need to have both of these things happen. You have to pick five white and one red. Okay, so now all we do is use our calculator. So 69 choose five is, I have it written down here, 11,238,513. And 26 choose one is just 26. Okay? So now you're gonna grab out a calculator again, multiply these two together, and you get 292 million 201,338. 338, right. Okay. So basically, there are 292,201,338 possible different Powerball tickets that could exist with the, with the numbers, okay? Again, not all of them are sold every time. That's why somebody doesn't win every time. Um, but these are the number of possible tickets we could have. So your odds are one in 292,201,338. Now, if you go on the Powerball website, you can verify this. I think it's really cool though. I mean, you can totally impress people and walk up and be like, oh yeah, I know those are the odds, but do you wanna see why? 
and then you can show them. So here's the math behind the news stories that you're hearing right now. If you if you Google this, the you know the fact that it's nine hundred million dollars, I think that might be the highest it's been. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't. I remember it was really big a few years ago, and I bought a ticket, and obviously I didn't win. Um, but yeah, so so this is pretty cool that you can now understand the math, and it's using combinations, something that you've done in class. You probably had a unit where you talked about probability and you talked about combinations and permutations. So here is math in real life, using combinations to figure out the odds of winning Powerball. And you can do this with other lotteries too. You know, if you have a, I think there's the Mega Millions that's in Massachusetts, and then there's also lots of different types of lotteries. So. This is pretty cool and it's another example of math in real life.